I'm living, I'm learning, I'm making mistakes, and I'm growing from them. <laughs> I am the moon, I'm the moon coming out from behind the clouds. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. So today I'm coming to you mostly fresh faced. Obviously I have my brows on, I got some lip gloss on, I am wearing a bit of foundation, but that is because we are going to be finishing the makeup together as friends. Shortly, shortly, shortly. You know I gotta talk about my earrings because these earrings are made by Mossy Bean, at Mossy Bean on Instagram, mossybean.com on the internet. And this brand was actually created by a makeup artist at Beauty Bean on Instagram. She does a lot with crystals and a lot with plants and a lot with moons and stars. And if you've met me, those are my three favorite things. So I love it so much, but that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to listen to me rant and rave and talk with my hands all about the jewelry that I'm wearing. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in watching me turn myself into an Instagram filter. This is not a revolutionary idea or anything, definitely not an original idea. I think Raw Beauty Christy did this video a few months ago, and I know many other people have recreated Instagram filters on their faces, so if I can find the original creator, I will absolutely link them down below. But I was inspired to do this video because the other day I came across an Instagram filter that swept me away, hit me right in the heart, and I just was enthralled. I really liked this particular filter because it was created by a makeup artist named Roe Singh, who I don't know if you know her, but if you don't, what are you doing? Go follow her right now, she's so talented. And she created this beautiful filter. How beautiful is this? I saw it and I immediately was like, that needs to be on my face, but not just on a filter. I need it on my face in real life. I'm really excited to break into this face and body makeup palette that I got on Amazon. It's from the brand You Can Be, and it's their cruise palette. I really wanted to try some face and body makeup because I really want to do some Halloween looks this year. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to watch me create this beautiful Instagram filter on my little face, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. This is the palette here, as I just mentioned. I believe the colors that I'm going to be using for this filter are probably going to be mostly this shade of blue. Maybe a little bit of this blue it looks like the outline of the clouds has some of that blue. I'm really just winging it here. I have never used face and body paint before. I'm not going to be putting it on my body. I'm just going to be putting it on my face, but I've never used this type of paint before, so I'm nervous, but excited. So I have a couple brushes here with me, too. I don't know if these are the right type of brushes to use. I have this Farah brush that I got in an Ipsy bag like a year ago that looks like it would be good for just slapping down some paint, and then I have this ColourPop little C-shaped brush here. It looks like a good cutting the crease brush that I figured would be good for the clouds. I have another Faro brush that looks basically the same as this. So those are the brushes I'm using. I'll link them down below if they end up working out well and you also want to get them. So I think that the first step that I should do is outline my little filter. It's kind of like a stripe, like a little, what do you call that? Little mask, like the mask they wear in the Princess Bride, like one of those. What kind of, what are those called? I don't know, but that's the sort of shape I'm going to be outlining. And I think I'm going to try to use this brush see if I can dip in. You could probably see there was a fingerprint in there earlier. I did a patch test earlier to make sure I didn't have a reaction to the paint and everything seemed to go well. So I, I guess I'm just gonna swipe on my face now. I really, oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, what a pretty color. So I don't know much about this palette or much about this face and body paint, but I'm thinking if it's like any other cream product I've used in the past, I'm probably gonna have to set it with powder afterwards to prevent creasing. I'm shocked by how pigmented this is going on. I mean, I guess it's, paint. Wow, this is so fun though. Usually I have to work so hard to get things to be this pigmented. It's actually really nice that it's going on so smoothly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this makes me want to paint my whole face green so badly. And I have a green. Maybe I can be alphabet at some point during Halloween. Is that still cool? Do people still care about Wicked? It was the first Broadway show I ever saw was Wicked, actually. I went with my theater group in the seventh grade. We took a bus from Boston to New York City, and uh, we saw Wicked, and it was really fun. And me and my friend Jill used to pretend to be Alphaba and Glinda. We would take turns, and we would sing along to the Wicked soundtrack in her backyard, and we would, like, scream and belt and have such a good time, and I just, I really liked 
to that show. So who knows, maybe I'll paint myself green and become Alphaba at some point this season. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about this shape so far. So what I'm gonna do now is switch to one of my little cut crease brushes here. And I think I wanna try to go in with the clouds. I know there's like more of like a periwinkle blue that goes around, like kind of the under eye area and everything, but I feel like I should get my clouds down first since that blue looks like it kinda outlines the clouds. I don't know, this could be a huge mistake. Like I said, this is my first time dipping into this palette other than to do a patch test, so I figured it would be fun if we learned together rather than me do my own research and watch other videos <laughs> beforehand. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna dip into the white and attempt some little clouds here. My only worry is that this still feels super tacky, like it's transferring. Sorry for flipping you off, it's transferring here. So I'm worried they're gonna blend together. If they do, I'll stop and I'll try to set this down and then maybe we'll try again, but let's, let's just try. That's kind of blending together, but I also feel like if I do powder, then it's gonna be harder to go over that powder. You know what, the clouds are kind of blue anyways, and I feel like you can definitely see that. Let's see if I can just layer it up. I'm just gonna go for it here. I, I don't think I wanna set it right now. I feel like I'll wanna set it at the end and set everything down together. Who knows? Let's just keep going with these cloudy clouds. Clouds are so fun to put on your face. I. I talk like I'm an expert. I only recently tried a cloud look for the first time the other day. I'll put it on the screen if you wanna see it. And I had so much fun doing that look because the fun thing about clouds is that none of them are identical. None of them look the same. So it's basically impossible to mess up because you just put a little puffy puff on your face and you got a cloud. And that's basically the that on that. Like, look at that. Those totally look like clouds. At least I think they look like clouds. If you don't think they look like clouds, please don't tell me. I'm very emotionally vulnerable right now and I don't wanna know. Put a little cloud right there. I feel this is a really good shape for clouds too. It's giving me more of a puff moment. I'm a big fan of this paint so far. I understand the white is kind of blending with the blue a little bit, but I still feel like it's pretty pigmented. And this palette was only $14 on Amazon and you get how many colors? You get 15 colors in there, which I think is pretty decent. If I were comparing it to an eyeshadow palette, I would think that $14 for 15 shadows pretty decent price. I was considering getting the Mehron, Mehron paints, but those are really expensive. I saw one that was like $35 for only six colors, and I am a colorful gal. I like to have a lot of color options, so I felt like this will be better for me. Also, I knew that if I didn't end up using the body paint, or if maybe I didn't like it or something, then I, at least I didn't spend too much money on it. Okay, this literally looks so pretty already. I'm having such a good time with this. I think I'm gonna cool it on the clouds for now, and I might go back and and add some more later because I want to go in with that blue color to add that periwinkle blue and I feel like I might accidentally cover up part of the clouds so we'll come back to the clouds. Okay, so next I'm gonna dip into this beautiful periwinkle blue. I realize it looks a little deeper, but I feel like if I just go in with a light hand, it'll still match the filter. And this is the same brush that I used before. So it looks like that blue is kind of like outlining the clouds a little bit and that's kind of it. So I think maybe it's supposed to act kind of like a shadow. So I'm gonna try not, okay, yeah, it's a little deeper than I wanted it. Let me wipe a little bit off on the back of my hand. I think less is more when it comes to this palette. It's very pigmented. There we go, easy to fix though. So I love cream products, they're so easy to fix. Yeah, so that covered the cloud a little bit just cause I went in with too much pigment to start, but that's why I said I will be coming back to the clouds for sure. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, I definitely covered up most of those clouds. All right, lesson learned everybody. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with that white and try to put some of those clouds back on again. Another thing that I have noticed is that Padding motions are definitely the way to go. There were a couple times where I tried to swipe the brush a little more than patting it and it removed some of the product. So if you are gonna be using face paint, if you're gonna be picking up this palette, then I would definitely recommend pressing and patting so you definitely get to keep your pigmentation that way. Okay, so redefining my little clouds here. Oh, much better. What are you guys gonna be for Halloween this year? Are you celebrating Halloween this year? Ooh, let's talk about Halloween costumes. What are you guys gonna be for Halloween this year? I know it's a little weird this year due to the pandemic and everything. I don't think many people will actually be going out for Halloween this year. I know I definitely will not living in New York City, but I, I'm definitely 
is still gonna dress up. Are you guys gonna dress up still? And if so, who are you gonna be? I love dressing up for Halloween. Last year I was a bat, me and my boyfriend and Bert. We all got little bat wings. It was very cute. We might have been Turner and Hooch the year before. No, we were cute scarecrows the year before. That was actually really funny. Me and my boyfriend Vince dressed up as cute scarecrows. I mean, there was nothing especially cute about them, but we're cute, so they were cute scarecrows. I definitely have a picture of that. I'll insert that somewhere. We were so cute, but we went to this bar in our neighborhood, and it was really funny because everybody in the bar was like over 40, and we are in our 20s, and everybody was dressed in these like really scary, really adult costumes. Like some of them were a little scandalous, and there was the two of us standing in the corner of the bar dressed like little cutie scarecrows, and I felt like everyone was looking at us like we were babies, and we are, so they were correct, but it was just that was kind of a funny little moment. I am trying to do like a little nose highlight here. I feel like there's a little nose highlight in the filter. So I definitely think every like few pats you do on your face, you wanna wipe your brush because I noticed I'm getting a ton of that other colored blue in my white here, which is making the white not show up as much. So I'm living, I'm learning, I'm making mistakes and I'm growing from them. Okay, I feel like I'm about like 10 pats away from doing way too much, so I'm going to close her up for now and we are going to use a little bit of eyeshadow to set this because it is very sticky. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna use is I have this just like loose white eyeshadow from an old Morphe palette that I'm gonna use to set the clouds. And I also have this Zodiac Cosmetics Virgo palette. I love it so much, I talk about it literally constantly. And it has this really pretty blue shade. So I think I'll use that to do some setting as well. Maybe we'll dip into that greeny blue, who knows? Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with one of my e.l.f. brushes now. I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry. It's just like a little kind of teardroppy shaped brush. I usually use it to set my eyes before I do my eyeshadow. It's a nice fluffy brush, so I think that'll be good. I honestly, I try, I'm try. i probably gonna cut this footage, but I tried to go with my C-shaped brush for a second, and it just got wet immediately. It was not good for setting, so that's why I'm switching to a fluffier brush here, and I'm gonna set these clouds. I might go in with a translucent powder to set the whole thing afterwards. Who knows? Maybe I could have skipped this step and just done that from the get-go. I'm not sure. I wanted to try setting the clouds individually because honestly I wanted to add a little more pigment with this white eyeshadow that I'm using. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about setting with the white shadow. Now I'm gonna go into this periwinkle shade from my Virgo palette. Do a little bit of setting around the clouds. Hopefully I don't cover them up again. Let's see. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is adding a lot to the look actually, wow. Okay, feeling pretty good about that coverage. I don't know if this is gonna be an exact match, but I feel like this will be okay just to set the lids, because as I showed you, they're super, super creasy. My eyelids are already so oily. I feel like it's kind of a mix of this color and this color. Who knows? We'll see. Oh yeah, that's too dark, too dark. Go back to the periwinkle. Ah, ah. That's fine enough. I think the depth of color is interesting, actually. And I don't think I want to take that green all over the place, because I don't think it's the same shade, and I don't think it's Gonna look good so should we try a little translucent powder will it be a huge mistake I don't know I think maybe we should I'm gonna tread very lightly I just have my Ciate London extraordinary powder okay I'm gonna tread incredibly lightly with this translucent powder here because I don't want to mess the whole thing up so I feel like it looks really good I'm also trying not to be too overly expressive because I don't want to keep creasing things I'm a very expressive person I do that with my eyes a lot mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like barely touching my face here because I don't want to move anything and I feel like none of the cream is coming off on the brush, so that's a good sign. Okay, so I feel like this is basically the filter. Like it looks pretty good. The filter doesn't give you any eyeliner or mascara or anything. I am gonna put a little mascara on just because I, I like mascara. I want my lashes to be prominent, but you don't care to see that. So I'm gonna put some mascara on and then come right back. Okay, so I just did a light coat of mascara just on the top lashes. Like I said, the filter doesn't give you lashes or anything, but I just wanted them. It also doesn't give you a lip or anything, but I am gonna go in with my Milk Kush Balm in the shade Shine. It has like a purple glitter in it. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Actually, somebody went back and commented on an older video of mine where I was wearing this and told me that they didn't like the way my lips looked, and so I just wanted to wear that again specifically for them if they watch this video. So here is my Milk Kush Balm. I think it looks really cute with this look. It's not taking too much away but it is adding a little bit of a shimmer. So with that, you guys, 
take away the bonus butterflies, this is my finished look. Do I look like the filter? Can you tell the difference between the two of us? If I had to critique myself at all, I would say I feel like I took my blue down a little further than hers, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I wanted to give myself a little bit wider of a canvas to work with. I have a pretty small face. I get a round face, but it's pretty pretty short in, in length when I wear my face masks. They usually go up to my eyes. Does anybody else have that problem? If you have any recommendations for face masks with people with tiny faces, please recommend them down below because I do have a tiny face. So I wanted to give myself a good amount of space to work with and I'm really happy with the result. I had so much fun playing with this palette. I think this is such a good starter palette for me. Obviously I can't give a full review on it. I've only used it one time and I have no idea how it's going to wear. I did set everything down with a translucent powder. I did set it down with eyeshadow or two, but I think after setting it with the translucent powder, I think that was the way to go. The eyeshadow didn't add a whole ton of pigmentation to the look, and I feel like it was just an added step that I could have skipped. The only time I would use the eyeshadow is I would have used the eyeshadow instead of this periwinkle color because I felt like it was too dark. But I liked going back and forth between the eyeshadows and the body paint. I'm excited to play with this more. I'm excited to do Halloween looks. If you have any suggestions for me, feel free to leave them down below. I do have a few ideas in the old head of mine so definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of my Halloween content I have never done like Halloween content every year I do like one Halloween look but this year I wanna I wanna do it all out I want October to be a ton of Halloween looks a ton of Halloween content I want to do some Halloween nostalgia content maybe talk about some old Halloween costumes of mine I have a lot of hope that it's gonna be a good October so I hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday they're always really cute and sweet like this one and I talk with my hands a lot <laughs> Why do I want to do that? I feel like a superhero. I feel like I'm like super, super cloud woman. I control the clouds. I control the tides. Ooh, she is the moon. I am the moon. I'm the moon coming out from behind the clouds. Yes, it all makes sense. It's all coming together now. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. Please check out my description box for everything on my face today, as well as a ton of Black Lives Matter resources, including petitions to sign, places to donate, and ways to help protesters. I'm going to specifically single out the Louisville Mutual Aid Fund down there below. Please make sure that you check that out and donate if you are able to, because people in Louisville definitely need your help right Right now and also people all across the country. There's also going to be a link to register to vote down there. My description boxes are packed. You guys have to check out my description boxes. I mean, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, but I do put a lot of really important information down there, so be sure to check that out. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!